Hey everyone, Mango7 Rule here. How we doing today? Welcome to a Azure Lane video. Kind of surprising to do this, but I've had it in the corner of my screen while playing Dragalia Lost. Basically, um, since I started playing it, and there's been a lot of interest in it. People see me playing it, and they want to get started. I've been converting a lot of people, and converting isn't the right word because this game is amazing. The devs are beyond amazing. All their everything is just fantastic. The game is just overall really great. But it's not my primary game. I, I love it to death, and it may be even my favorite game uh, ahead of Dragalia, if that even, like, if I can even say that. Uh, but I don't primarily play it. It's always there, but I'm never 100% playing it and nothing else, unless it's, like, hard content or something. Um, too long didn't watch. This game is about ship girls. There's lots of girls. There's lots of ships. It's about collecting. It's about lewd skins it's about all those things it's 100 percent completely free to play the only thing you really need to ever buy if you want to buy are skins to marry your ships and also um maybe some skins in general like this is what you would spend your money on at the end of the day every single person is basically going to get every single ship easily and a lot of them just drop off stages so after that's out of the way since so many people are now playing this i really want to do a uh guide for it like a first couple day guide so i started another account just to do that. So the first thing you're going to run into at the start of the game is you're going to pick between um, Javelin, D23, and Laffy. And honestly, it doesn't really matter which one of those you pick. This is a game where it doesn't matter too much. So just pick the one you like the looks of the most. Um, I picked Javelin the first time I was around, and next time I picked La or D23 for this just because she's ultra adorable there. Um... You'll get them all eventually. I have all of them, no problem, and uh, that's that on my main. So you'll get them all. Don't worry about that. Pick the one you like. Uh, next up is your ship girls. Is uh, a couple ways to do this. So first off, there's a lock box by every single ship. I would lock one of everything. Really only need one of each ship to really get going here. Um, so I would definitely do that. Uh, just lock them all. When you get a new ship, it, it prompts you for it. There's a couple you get right at the start, like I believe Long Island. Um, this one right here doesn't come locked. As you can see, mine isn't locked there. So it doesn't come locked, so you have to manually lock it. But outside of that, they all come locked. So keep that in mind. Any additionals you have, you can um, do away with as you please. Speaking of getting rid of them, um, let's say you have a bunch of extra common ships here. And uh, common are the base rarity. You can sort by rarity in the top right here. Um, so let's get our new ship we just got from our trade and We'll talk about that in a second. And if we want to get rid of our commons, what we do is hit enhance at the top left. We click add over here. And these are all my extra commons. I can tell because they're not locked. And I just click them through. Um, and you can be efficient with this. Like you often really want to feed these purple ships up here to other purple ships like that. And that will increase their stats more, their aviation specifically, which is only on those backline flying units. But I'm lazy, so I'm just going to do this. Um, I'm just going to sell them all, of course, and disassemble everything. And there you go. That's one way to get rid of your ships. Alternatively, there is a second way. Uh, that is going into build at the bottom right, hitting retire, and then picking ships to retire here. Unfortunately, I actually have none that are unlocked right now, so I can't show you. But uh, rare ships give you one medal. Purple ships give you 4 medals, and gold ships give you 10 medals. Now you should be really careful getting rid of anything purple or higher. You might want to ask me or ask somebody else to see if you should do it. And there really is no rush to do it unless you're in this specific situation right now. So uh, medals, you can get a super, super rare from or a super rare. Basically, one of the best units in the game. Um, right now, it's Hood on Avrora, which is the server I'm on. By the way, join Avrora, the server. Uh, that's where we all are. And you've got about two days left. This is a different server right now, so the timer's different. But you have about two days left to get Hood, and she is possibly the best ship in the game right now. Top, like, three ships for sure. So you absolutely want to push these 80 medals and try to get her. Uh, and that might get difficult sometimes, and if you need help doing that, I can try to help you out. And if it gets to the end and you're not there yet, come to me personally send me a message, find me on stream, and I will help you get there. Um, next up, there's going to be a lot of things in this video. It's going to be jam-packed, by the way. Next up is your shop. This is Akashi. She is an ultra cutie, and she loves head pads. So what you want to do is tap her every single day. Some hearts fly out. She sends you some stuff in the mail. It's amazing. Uh, but the first time you find her, I've already done it, but you want to spam clicker 
um, 30 times or so in a row, just spam her, and eventually a quest is going to pop up. And you want to follow that quest line, because uh, you get Akashi at the end, and she is amazing, and also she gives you a ton of cool things to go with it. Speaking of starter quests, there is Easy Rookie up here. You click that, and there's a ton of things you can do, and specifically you get this weapon here by opening any tech box five times, and this gives you a um, purple gun. So let's talk about equipment and tech boxes, I guess. Uh, it's just going to chain into different things until we get everything we can covered. I'm just going to pick my brain. So there's uh, four different colors of boxes here. There's T1. Well, there's five, but let's talk about the four first. There's T1, Tier 2, Tier 3, which I don't have any, which is purple, and Tier 4, which is um, gold. So you basically never, ever, ever, ever want to open anything under purple. And what you want to do with them instead is collect five of them. And you click on them here and hit craft and you can craft them into the next step up and then you want to craft the next step up into the next step up and then you want to open the purples the only exception to this i would say is going down here right off the bat of the game and getting this open any tech box five times thing just get that out of the way get that gun it's amazing and uh you'll be really 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 happy with that so i've got a list of a ton of things by the way uh next up we need to talk about units in general. Uh, so oil cost is your stamina in this game, and it's to the point where you basically will never run out unless you go nutso. But if you want to be efficient with oil, you can click the stats at the top, click stats, um, stats one more time, and you can see their cost. This is their base cost here to put them in your team. Um, you can see some cost way more than others, like this one costs five right here, um, some cost one. And some will cost up to like 12 or 13 or even higher uh, later in the game. If we click on one, let's click on our hood here. Um, you can see she costs five. That's because she's really good and she's a heavy, basically. Um, and you can do a ton of different things with her. If you click on Limit Break, this will unlock her level. So uh, the current cap is 70. But after you Limit Break her once, you'll unlock her to 80 and then 90, then 100. You do not want to do this whatsoever until you hit that specific level so you don't want to do it until you hit 70 you don't get anything from it but your cost increases so keep that in mind be really careful about that the other thing we can take a look at here let's take a look at our fletcher um who's one of, in my main teams right now is upgrade their gear so we can click into gear just pick some stuff here honestly i i can't even get into equipment right now it's so 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 confusing so just pick whatever the highest rarity is that looks okay. Just upgrade them to 2 to 3 to 4 and uh, kind of go from there. Um, each ship can use something different. So if you click in here and there's nothing, a different ship might have a different one. Uh, if you can see, we have a main gun, a torpedo, and an anti-air gun. If we go to um, this one, it's got a main gun and an auxiliary gun. Uh, there's a ton of different things. Torpedoes there. Basically, you can see there are so many different types of guns you can use. So always check each one. Um, that's about it in here for the most part. There's a billion other things, but we'll get to those in another video. Uh, what is next? What is next? Do your dailies. That's a pretty easy one. Hit on mission here. Um, you want to go through dailies, and these are the ones you want to make sure you complete every single day. Uh, next up is what you should spend your gems on. So if you click dorm in the middle here, this is the most important thing to spend your gems on right now. Um, I would get... I don't have enough yet. I would get four um, dorm spots no matter what. That's 100% you do need to do that. And this is to give some XP to your units, but also raise their morale. And morale is a very annoying um, feature at the start, but it gets better as you go on and eventually you can marry people if they love you back. Uh, I love that about it. But at the start, it almost made me quit the game because it was so frustrating. So if any of your units ever say, um, such and such is mad at you, if you keep going with her, she'll blah, 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 blah. Put her in her dorm, let her sit for a bit, switch to another ship, and eventually uh, it will get better. Um, also, your gems are super, super, super important. There's very few gems in this game. You can, sum or you can build basically everything, but gems are really limited and mostly for pay uh, statuses. And it's not pay to win, it is pay to skin. So um, definitely pay for um, glamour and stuff like that instead of paying for power and summons. Keep that in mind about this game because that's a really, really, really attracting factor and a really good feature of this game. So in your dorm here, this is where your girls go that get super, super, super happy. Um, you need these decoration tokens. You can get them basically all throughout the game. Uh, just play the game and you'll figure it out. Right now, stars above is um, 
added to the game and you can see the comfort levels these add to your happiness basically um so if you go to buy it it says plus two and that'll plus two uh to your happiness at the top right so you just want to buy these willy-nilly basically i am personally um saving for limited uh uh limited dorm decorations uh, which is something you might want to do uh after you get your happiness up but trust me getting that happiness up will make this game so so much better uh next up let's go to the academy here if we go to tactical classroom um, if we click on tactical classroom, there we go. This is where you train your gal's skills. Um, there's different color books. There's blue, yellow, green, uh, or blue, yellow, and red. And there's different color skill abilities. You want to match up um, your skill with the color of book to get more XP through that book. Uh, there's also a third spot down at the bottom. I would buy this, uh, but I would buy it after your four dorm slots. This is 500 gems, and this is one of those things like Smithworms and Dragalia where you'll always have three people going. You might run out at the start until you get better at farming them and better at doing your, um, your, uh, I forget what they're called. We'll, we'll go to those in a second. We'll, we'll go to those right now, actually. You'll, uh, what are they called? What are they called? Commissions. Okay. So you might run out of them until you get your commissions going, but you should always have all of your commissions going. Is that so Z23? Um, you should always have all your commissions going here. And they unlock at 3-4 as the final one. Um, just try to do as many of these you can. If you don't play a lot, there are 10 hour ones. Like this one here, or 8 to 10 hour ones. And this these ones cost a huge amount of oil, like 800 plus. So I don't really do these on my main too much because I play so much. But on my altar, if I was going to start, or if I don't play too much, I would absolutely use these to level up lower level ships. Um, and they also give you a ton of uh, gold and a ton of other cool things. This one gives me a four, uh, tier 4 tech box, which is one of those things I was talking about earlier today. Um, the important things to get here, uh, it depends on how much you play. You can get the deco tokens, you can get skill books, you can get um, retrofit blueprints, you can get uh, quick finishers. And that's another thing. Let's talk about builds. How many circles can we do in this one um, video here? So building... It's a little different in this game. It's basically summoning. There's three different sections. Um, this one has Enterprise and Illustrious. There are two ridiculously amazing ships. I got NT early on in my first uh, game, and she carried the hell out of me. She is so good. Uh, there's also Heavy here, and Heavy has Hood, but if you rush through the game, or not through the game, but rush through to get those 80 medals, you can get her for free. And people like Enterprise and Illustrious will pop up in that metal section eventually as well. So every uh, week and a half or something, you do get a new SSR um, just for free, basically. So that's awesome. And the other one is light. And there's a lot of really cool things here like Belfast and um, some other things that you are not really aware of yet. But uh, this one also costs half of that. So I like to do this for my dailies. You should not be spamming building unless it means you're going to get hood or you're not going to get hood from that uh gold shop right now and for those of you watching this a week from now um all this talk about hood and the metals won't really matter but i know there's specifically a ton of people trying to play right now uh that this is helping so i'm just including this anyway um so yeah uh don't waste your building don't waste your cubes don't waste your coins until there's a limited banner in my opinion just do the minimum a day all you need for quests then when a limited banner comes out like the one in two days or so spend them all on that and try to get that limited unit because you will get everything guaranteed in this game eventually um for the most part uh in quotes so there is that and i think we covered everything in here um there's also uh, a bunch of things you can trade for in here but i'm going to skip those for now uh and leave that for a later video i'm trying to think of what else there is i've got a bunch of different things pvp um so if you click on exercises at the bottom right here pvp is someplace you just go to get wrecked but it's okay because you get wrecked and you get a ton of XP back. So I go in, um, just add anybody here. Let's add Repulse. No, let's add Nelson. Um, let's not actually. Let's just add Repulse apparently. And I just go in and get destroyed uh, because it doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't cost you any oil and you get a ton of XP for it. Um, when you're building, make sure... You use your drills, your quick drills or whatever they're called, quick finishers, because uh, you get infinity of them. I cannot run out. I've got 230 of them on my main. Just keep that in mind as well. So I think we've covered most of the things here. And at the end of this, we're going to get a ton of XP. Um, so if you have any specific questions, I'm looking at my list. 
Uh, let me go down my list. Lock one of each ship. Maintain your oil. Don't open boxes under purple. Bring three to four, or bring your gear to plus three or plus four. Do your dailies. Morale is frustrating. Um, buy your two dorm slots. Uh, buy your book slot. The shop, I haven't covered that. I will cover that right after this. Um, head Patakashi. PvP is free XP. Don't limit break. Enhancing ships. I think I covered everything I really wanted to cover here. Um, so you can see we got a ton of XP for basically nothing at this point, and you still do get your pity merit, which is your PvP currency. Okay, so the shop at the bottom left here, the important one right now, you want to click on supplies again, is in the guild shop here. So there's a bunch of things you can buy. Honestly, if you're just starting out and you've got like a percent off um, purple pack, it might be worth buying just to try to boost it up. But in general, you only want to buy skill books that cost money, not gems. Never buy anything that costs rubies. Um, skill books that cost money and possibly uh, orange books when they or orange uh, tech boxes when they come out. But like I said, the very start of the game, you might want to pick up one or two purple boxes here just to try to boost your account a little bit because it will help a lot. So I think that's everything. Um, I'm not sure what else to say. Uh, I guess I didn't cover what ships to use, and that's because it doesn't really matter at the start. Pick whoever you like, play with them, and just have fun. Try to switch between a bunch of teams, make two different formations. Um, and I will leave a link to the drops in the description below of a bunch of different ships, and it will tell you where each ship drops. Personally, I end up farming 2-4 um, for a while, and then once I farm 2-4 for a while, I upgrade my equipment and I move on to 3-1. Um, eventually and I do the same thing until I get to three four and once you can get three four cleared that's your end game farming if you want to call it that for a long time you're gonna be in three four for a very 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 long time so that should be your end goal and I'm gonna pick up on that in a couple days here and try to show you guys some um, semi-optimal fleets that you can farm earlier to use on three four to get you through that the best anyways thank you so much for watching uh, feel free to like comment subscribe as always and I will see you all later bye now